Hello everyone, I am Kakashi, and I have what I hope is super exciting news today. Um, as everybody has probably done, uh, there have been many, many rumors of what the next Call of Duty game is going to be. Um, ever since it was unveiled, officially unveiled, everybody kind of guessed anyways that Treyarch was going to be the company making 2015's Call of Duty game. The obvious two choices were Black Ops 3 and World War 2. There have been many, many rumors from I've seen Reddit posts that are pretty legit Reddit posts that talk about how it's going to be in the future again. People hated the fact that it was uh, Black Ops 2 was so in the future. I personally didn't like it either. And a bunch of other nonsense that some seemed logical and others seemed kind of stupid, like 24 versus 24 player, multiplayer, or above and stuff. Um, I also saw a uh, video by a, I don't remember what YouTuber, and it was a pretty le legitimate video. It talked about how you get to be uh, Mason from Black Ops 1, Mason's granddaughter, uh, Samantha or something, and... Uh, you get you live in the 2045 or 2145 and you have to go back in time to, to 1943 and stuff it's it's all crazy really but finally we get our first official tease by a, a call of duty like the official call of duty tease since may is just next month and may is generally when a call of duty game is always announced well apparently black ops 2 was updated and there have been people that we found I, I think, I know for sure two posters have been found, but posters have been found in Black Ops 2 multiplayer maps that if you zoom in, it shows a square and it shows the Snapchat logo surrounded by code, a code that you can scan, which then adds Call of Duty as your friend, the official Call of Duty Snapchat page, and it has a rather, you know, mysterious 10 second Snapchat post. Listen only to the sound of my voice. I honestly have no idea what to think of, uh, you know, that te those 10 seconds. Those seconds were enough to get me super hyped up, you know? Um, all I can tell is that there is a guy telling you to follow his voice, there's a random eye, and... I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but in the scene with the forest, if you look at the ground, the way that the light shines through the trees, you can see three white bars, which I don't know if that means Black Ops 3, you know, but I mean, it has it has the same, you know, Treyarch old style, you know, aura to it. Now, shortly after the first teaser, uh, there was a second teaser that was released uh, after shortly afterwards, and check it out. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. So there you go, guys. It was the second teaser followed by uh, a screenshot I took of the part that followed that, which was just a picture of a blue moon, and apparently also. If you put a specific filter on the blue picture, um, it says Dr. Salim, Dr. Salem, something like that, on top of the moon. And coincidentally, also, if you check, the Call of Duty Snapchat uh, profile name was changed to Dr. Salim. Um, I have no idea what any of this means. Um, I'm assuming he's a doctor, obviously. Uh, from the looks of it, it, it's almost as if it's like brainwashing, you know? They want people to forget about the war or whatever, and they're brainwashing you, you know? Or they're making you feel better. I'm not sure what it is. But um, I honestly do hope you guys enjoy, you know, figuring this out as much as I do. So I think it's a safe bet to say Black Ops. Uh, and nobody would complain if it was World at War again, you know, the second one. Uh, that would be really cool to go back to it, uh, but I think it's safe to say that it's Black Ops 3, you know? Uh, I really enjoyed Black Ops. I thought Black Ops was one of the most amazing stories for a game, you know? All the plot twists, the voice acting, the story, the ending was amazing. 
Black Ops 2 came out and I wasn't so sure about it. I wasn't sure how they could keep it going. I thought it was more for money and I thought it was a smart idea. I thought that it was a really wise way to be able to keep it going. I didn't personally like it too much. Uh, the, the parts in the game where you can make your own choices, I think they did that way too much which came out as a bunch of different endings and some of them were really obscure I remember there was this one part where you you had to shoot a target that was hooded apparently you were able to shoot that target in the leg and then it ended up being uh, Mason and you get to save Mason well I didn't know that some parts are just I, I don't know I technically it was a fun game I liked it I liked they were able to continue the story I didn't find it truly necessary I didn't like the story as much as Black Ops obviously so now for Black Ops 3, that's just like, holy crap, you're pushing it. Like, you know, if the uh, YouTube video I saw was true and you are Mason's granddaughter, Samantha, and you get to go back in time, that's that's cool. I'm glad about that. A lot of, one thing that myself included, a lot of people didn't like was it was way too futuristic, Black Ops 2 was. Advanced Warfare was a little bit more believable. Black Ops was just, you know, way ahead in the future. It, obviously, half of it was in the past still. That's what a lot of people loved. I really like that. So if that video that I saw was real and you do get sent back in time because of some weird-ass reason to 1943, World War II, that would be a good way to make it almost like World at War 2. You know, if almost half or more of the game takes place in World War 2, that'd be awesome. You know, that'd be a great thing to do. However, they're going to connect it to the future or whatever. I don't know, honestly. I am really excited, honestly. I'm really excited. After Advanced Warfare came out and I saw how that was and how amazing it was, I really ha I'm excited for this because Black Ops 2 came out in 2013, 2012, 2012. Ghost came out 2013, Advanced Warfare came out 2014. So they've had, you know, one, two, two and a half, three years. Treyarch has had two and a half, th has pretty much had three years to perfect this. They've been waiting. Um, there have been rumors that there's going to be an exosuit. I honestly don't think so because Advanced Warfare just came out with it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Um, go back and uh, check, you know, the 10 second Snapchat post as much as you wish. Uh, go ahead and add them. Just add Call of Duty, no spaces, on Snapchat, and uh, they'll add you back, and you'll be able to see it for yourself. So tell me what you think. Also, I don't know if you realize in the end of it, there was a random tree. I, I don't know, but uh, it looks intense. It looks a little creepy. It looks mysterious. I am really excited. Hopefully, they don't do the same thing as Black Ops 2, where they branch out a with a bunch of storylines and everything. Um... I'll try to add a link in the description to the video of the YouTuber I saw who posted a very good explanation and personal story of how he found out the rumors about Mason's granddaughter and how there's gonna you're gonna be in the future, you're gonna go back in time, there's gonna be 24 versus 24 multiplayer, um, you know, matches. And that it's just going to connect somehow and they're going to bring back all the different alternative choices. I really hope it's not true. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think that did very well to it. But I don't know honestly. This has been my personal opinion on it. Everybody has their own opinions. All I know is that I'm excited. As much, as, as much crap as Call of Duty is going to get every year no matter what. I am excited for this. I can't wait. And... You know, it's just I, I honestly can't wait. I, 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 I can't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comments. Anything. Uh, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. See